Hello everyone, I'm Sir Danknam, and this video is going to be about these three practical and professional tips in Phantom Forces that the best competitive PF players abuse in their games against the best of the best. And I have a top Phantom Forces specialist here that will be teaching you guys all the detailed information about these three tips in this video. Our special guest here is one of the top tier 1 players and is very well known in the competitive Phantom Forces community. So, hope you guys enjoy! Hey, I'm Bryce. I play for Proudly Union in CPFO Season 11. I placed second in the Phantom Forces Draft League in Season 1 and Season 3, and I placed top 4 in Season 9 for CPFO. And I led my team with 50 kills and a 1.8 KDR against the very top players in PF like Andre and Mind Party. The first pro tip that PF players maximize completely is their movement. Super jumping is the key movement technique that must be used to its full potential. The combination to super jump is to look up and press shift plus space bar, then press X. To get back on your feet from the super jump, quickly tap your aim button or mouse 2 and continue running by pressing shift to get back on your feet so it won't slow you down. It works very well when you are in a close quarter combat situation and can even get you to higher places on the map. Now, this can be really difficult to execute and learn, and you're going to mess up a bunch of times trying to do so, but you'll get the hang of it once you practice and succeed enough from doing so. The best way to practice the super jump is to just hop into some pubs and try to super jump to higher places that you normally couldn't get to. Or if you have a VIP server, you can practice it privately on any map you want and start moving and super jumping to places around the map. There's two extra things about movement that are very practical for beginners to do though. If you hate vaulting over everything you jump over, the way to actually avoid vaulting over these small barricades is to jump over them sideways to avoid doing the animation. Another tip about movement that you can get to places faster with is that you can actually go through these thin and small windows and jump through them when you turn your body and have your body sideways. The second practical tip that every pro player abuses is their wall bangs. On every map you play in on Phantom Forces, you will always find walls that you can wall bang through, and you must use them to your advantage. You can wall bang walls to shoot people that are capping the hill or capturing the objectives. And you can also shoot people that are camping in a certain position. And when you are in a 1v1 combat with an enemy, always keep in mind that you can wall bang through the cover that they try to hide behind. Now, not all guns can shoot through walls. If you go to the advanced stats for every gun in the loadout menu, there's a stat called penetration depth that shows penetration of the gun's bullets when it shoots through walls. For example, if a wall's width is 1 stud and a G36 has a 1.3 penetration depth, then the G36 can 100% shoot through that 1 stud wall. But if an MP10 has a 0.5 penetration depth, then it can't shoot through a 1 stud wall. And all walls can have different material that affects its own width. For example, in Warehouse, almost every gun in the game can wall bang through the walls, because every wall is thin wood, and almost every gun in PF has at least a 0.5 penetration depth or above. So next time you get killed by an LMG through three walls, you can always just go to your loadout menu and see that the RBK with an armor piercing has a 4.5 penetration depth. Now the last tip of the video, which is the easiest mechanic to learn, is nade usage. The golden rule to actually get kills with using your grenades is called the 3 second rule. You simply just pull out your nade and hold it for at least 3 seconds, then you throw it at your target. 3 seconds is the most you want to hold the nade for before you throw it, because any second too long or too short, the nade will either explode too early or too late. Now the best way to use your grenades is to throw them to push people out of position and throw a nade when someone is capturing an objective. But you can't always rely on your grenades too much. You never want to try to just pull out your nade during a gunfight in close quarters combat Combat, because three seconds can be a long time when you're in combat. And there you have it. That was three professional tips competitive PF players abuse. Thank you so much, Bryce, for helping me with this video. He's the one that's actually came up with all these tips for you guys. Make sure to show him some love if you can, whether it be in his Discord DMs or in his PFM matches. Is there anything else you want to promote, Bryce? Make sure to support me and my team, Probably Union, for CPFO Season 11, and Team Instinct for the Phantom Forces Draft League. Thank you. That's everything now for this video. Let me know in the comments below who you want to see featured in these types of videos. I'll be planning on making more of these type of videos in the future. I hope you guys learned something new today and even have something new to practice with while you're playing Phantom Forces. Goodbye everyone, take care. If you're interested in learning more about competitive Phantom Forces, make sure to subscribe and join the Discord to be connected with all the competitive Phantom Forces platforms.